Thank you for joining us for another episode of That Solo Life, the podcast about solo PR and marketing professionals making their way as solopreneurs, or to be honest, anyone who is a small business owner, who is the owner of the company and forging your own way out there in the big wide world of business. My name is Michelle Kane. I am with Voice Matters LLC. My wonderful co-host is Karen Swim with Words for Hire, and she is the head honcho of Solo PR Pro, the group that brings us all together in the PR and marketing solo world. How are you doing today, Karen? I'm doing great, Michelle. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. So we survived Thanksgiving. We got through that beautiful holiday of excess and now it's time to think about if we haven't already gift giving gift can you giving. believe it oh, yeah it's thanksgiving yeah. to gift giving <laughs> so not yes, a fan we... of this time of year i love uh, the magic of this time of year but I i'm do. not a fan of the frenzy you're uh, right yeah i'm not big on the part that feels like a part-time job that i didn't really sign on for <laughs> Yes, agreed, agreed. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I, I try to realign expectations every year, but, um, you know, it is kind of fun. This is one of the fun parts. First of all, I love that I have clients to think about gifts for. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a plus. And um, so, yeah, we thought we'd chat about today, just today about, you know, what we do, um, some ideas, because it's it's always a topic in our Solo PR Pro private um members Facebook group of yeah you know what what are you what are you getting your clients this year well I don't know what are you getting your clients this year so I I most of my clients are local but even if they weren't I like to of course support other small businesses and um, you know try and find things that are unique and locally produced or made if I can I don't know how how do you go about this you know, I love I love locally sourced items, whether the client is local or not. I don't have any local clients, but um, it's funny. Like this whole thing of gift giving, it always throws people in business at this time of year. And so, yes. so we'll always ask the first question: Is do I or don't I? Right. And you know, if you didn't, I don't think it would be a big deal because no. I don't think that. If you think about in your own life, do you get a gift from every single person that you do business with? It's a nice gesture. And, you know, it's just kind of a nice time of year to just say, thanks, I appreciate doing business with you. And so it's, you know, an accepted norm in our culture. But if you don't do it, don't feel bad about it. Because I don't think that I've ever heard of a client firing you or hating you because you didn't (laughs) send a holiday gift. This is true. Said, this is true. <laughs> um, you know, here are some things that I think that you should definitely stay away from. And this, you know, comes from me back in my corporate career as well. Um, stay away from giving things that are really not a gift. So if you're, um, you know, don't give them branded items that are not <laughs> just because you're more interested in promoting your company that aren't really useful to them. True. True. Um, Here, I got you a pen. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, here's a pen with my, by the way, it has my company logo and my name on it. And so that you can, you know, those are great to get out at meetings um, right. and great to give, you know, throughout the year um, to promote your company. But in the way of like a gift, probably not a great idea. Um, mm. Don't give gifts to charities that are not supported by your clients. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember full on revolt when I was in corporate America and the company I worked for did that one year. It's like, um, this year we made a gift to the charity in your name. That's a beautiful oh. thing to do, but be sure, be sure. When about you give the it as a pants. gift, yeah. everybody doesn't see it as a gift. Some people are like, yeah, that's it. It's basically your way of getting a tax deduction and not giving gifts at all. Yes. Right. Um, yeah. And I say you don't have to go over the top. You know, you can do, you know, small things. Like I know a small business owner that gives all of her clients these um, fair trade, you know, locally sourced chocolate bars and she wraps them up. Right. And it's a little thing, but it's just, 
I think we have to keep in mind it's not necessarily the size or the price of the gift. It's really the gesture, the thoughtfulness Correct. behind it. Yeah, I I love yeah. food gifts. I just, yes. you know, whatever. I know that people get a lot of them this time of year, but when you're giving to a client, especially when it's, you know, a client that works in an office with other people, giving something that everybody can share is a thoughtful thing, whether it's, um, yes. you know, something to drink or something to eat, just food gifts. Um, yeah. I be- one of our solos, Eric Hansen, I love Eric. Um, one <laughs> year, great. and maybe he does this every year, but I loved his idea of no, going to, to a local coffee house and having yes. them do these um, uh, this blend of coffee that he named with a play on his company's name, and he gave that as gift. That's lovely, and it's a lovely yeah. way to incorporate your company's name into it and make it a little more special than just giving like you know. Um, some, you know, big name Random. brand coffee, like, yeah, a local roaster, <laughs> yeah. and it's a special blend, and it has right. your company's name, um, and I just thought that that was such a cute gift, so yes. what about you? How do you handle it? Yeah, well, it's it's interesting. There was a, a local roaster near me who offered that one year, and I took him up on it. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a specific, you know, t- to the degree of Eric's, but I thought, oh, that's kind of cute to include, and that was actually, oh, Karen, you're going to kill me. That was actually one, or maybe I should have a talk with myself when I actually baked them all cookies. I don't tend to do that anymore because it's just a lot of work. So I thought a little coffee with cookies. Um, But yeah, I I like the idea of snacks, Um, you know, nice nutritional snacks with a little bit of naughty. I have a, there's a local business that's a provider of, you know, I want to say bulk items, but they package them in cute little different trail mixes and they make, you know, these great trays that have a mix of, you know, nutritious nuts and snacks, but with a little chocolate thrown in there too, because come on. So I, yeah, I've, I've done that. I try to, um, for clients that it's more of, I'm dealing with the principal and perhaps not the whole company. Um, just trying to think of fun experiences. If I know they enjoy yeah. the arts, you know, okay, here's a ticket's, couple of tickets to our local theater or a gift card rather so they can choose their own experiences um yeah it's it's definitely a gesture for sure just yes. to say yeah you know hey i'm i'm incredibly grateful to you because you allow me to make a living so that's a wonderful thing um there's something interesting i i forget who it is in our group or, or if someone does or maybe we just talked about it of even doing it at Thanksgiving as opposed to the glut of the holiday incoming, Um, you know, just to send a note of thanks or a little gift of thanks at that time of year. Um, Since, you know, gratitude is, is the name of Thanksgiving. Um, I know. um, I hope I'm allowed to say this, but I just, I'm such a huge fan of this agency Highwire Um, award-winning PR agency shout out. To Emily, <laughs> Kathleen, Carol, and crew, um, Highwire. They those those this company, and I want to say those women because it's a women-led company are yeah. just so super creative and and so smart. And over the years, I've learned so much from them. But I love they for years they've done this. They do their um, gifts at Thanksgiving time, so it always arrives before Thanksgiving and. The other thing that I love is that their gifts are always uh, so uh, in a line with their company values and what they do. They're a very, uh, they're a company that's very active and in local community and in, you know, volunteering and supporting causes. And so for their Thanksgiving um, packages, their gifts to clients, they always have locally sourced goodies. And yeah. they always have a story. So they support small businesses. Oh, that's wonderful. And they support local. And it's just beautiful when you open up their packages and, you know, you see the stories of, you know, these these businesses and where it came from. And it, it has such meaning. And they're just, so to me, they like, they win. You know, that's they incredible. win the, the year end gift prize. And yes. it, it showcases who they are as a brand. I feel yeah. like they, in everything that they do, they're always first class and meticulous in detail all the way and super creative. And I, I love that idea of I having your gift be a reflection of 
who you are as a company. Well, right. And right. yeah, I th- I think that's that's key. And you know, I think I think it's it's really fun to see you know in our group that so many of of the solo PR pros do try to work with small businesses. I mean, even yeah. I even had um, I have a client in the Philly Burbs, and I I went through. I knew this, you know it's a generations old chocolate maker in Philadelphia. And I thought, okay, I mean, oh. that's the epitome of a family business. So, and I, yeah. you know, they delivered. So I thought, oh, fantastic. And, you know, it's not every day you're going to, again, it's definitely a gesture. You know, you're going to, not every day you get your own box of chocolates that you can literally have, like sit on your couch in your office and eat that whole box. Just do it. It's one day out of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And again, it doesn't have to be this big, gigantic, you know, no. thing. It's just, you know, the thought that you put into it. And again, if you, you know, if you have smaller clients and, you know, that as a company, there's something that's really important to them and you can give a gift that aligns with that. Or, if you know, if you give a gift to a charity that your client is really passionate about, right. that's a really thoughtful way to honor them at the holidays as well. Yes. Um, yes. I just think it's a mistake when you, you know, give to a cause that you don't, that your client is not connected to, hasn't mentioned, and it's really a cause that you're personally connected to, that could go sideways. But but if it's something that they're really passionate about, something, you know, that maybe they give time to and give energy to, I think that that is, you know, a lovely way to honor them. Yeah, something in their honor, you know, and then... Yeah. You could just follow it up with a, a tiny little thing, just a little treat or something from, from somewhere. Yeah. Um, I have a very funny Heifer International story, by the way. It's not client really. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I actually like Heifer International. I, I like the them a lot. It's from a, okay, so a relative by marriage wanted this really cool stereo system for Christmas. His wife was like, no, we're going to order you a water buffalo through Heifer International. Well... <laughs> So that went over really well. Well, that was the unfortunate year that was it the typhoon? I forget what country it was. Oh. Yeah, so you remember the whole um Was that in Thailand? Yeah, I think so. And it was the it was around Christmas and they were talking uh, no, oh. no lie, CNN reporting there's water Well, they they had so they yeah, so I'll back up. They had this horrible storm and we were like, Oh no, his water buffalo probably died in the storm. How terrible. You didn't even want this present and your water buffalo is probably dead. Fast forward a few days after Christmas, CNN reporting, there's a water buffalo on a runway. (laughs) Because I guess they were coming in with aid and they were reporting this rogue water buffalo and we thought our whole family said Surely that's your water bottle. It survived. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Oh. Yeah, so every time now I think of Heifer International, I just crack up inside. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. I mean, and I, I think that's why, you know, and I should say, some people are terrible gift givers. And so I get how it could be stressful during the holiday time if you're not. Because True. we sometimes take it for granted that it's easy to give a gift, but that doesn't come naturally to everybody. And so if you, this is not your strength, you know, um, a couple of things that you can do is check with other colleagues for ideas. Yes, Keep it yes. simple. You know, food, yeah. you, you really can't go wrong. Here's no. where you can go wrong with food, but Dietary. it's okay if you do. Yes. Um, I have received a lot of food gifts that are not vegan. I uh-huh. welcome those gifts and I am going to tell you that I share them with people that can eat them. Doesn't take away my appreciation of the gift, but there are right. people who would be like, I can't believe that they didn't remember that I was vegan. Right. Um, <laughs> sure. Sure. But if yeah. you're not dealing with a company that's vegan or has food allergies, food can be wonderful, you know, yeah. and you could keep it, you know, healthy. You could do yeah. indulge in the season. Um, giving coffee, I get everybody doesn't drink it, but maybe you do a basket of coffee and tea. And so, tea. you know, cause a lot of people don't Absolutely. do coffee, do tea. Right. Right. Keep it yeah. super simple. Don't stress out over at it. Ask yeah. your friends, you know, um, I would tell you to look at Oprah's uh, favorite things. Some of those yeah. things are a little pricey. Yes, they are. 
Yes. It's like, oh, uh, that, you know, that's I, a nice thing, but no. no yeah, no. I was looking at this stuff, too. I'm like, well, yeah, that's my favorite thing, too, but I don't think anybody's going to give me that $1,500 bike. Um. <laughs> I do have to confess, you know, I, I don't often have the morning shows on in the background while I'm working, but I probably should. But this time of year, the you know today shows the Good Morning of America, you know, Good Morning of America, Good Morning America, um, Tory steals and deals. I've actually, yeah. you know, as I'm working, my my ear is still picking that up in the background, and I would say, wait, what did she just say? Oh, let me look. Oh, that's a great gift for so and so. So, you know, kind of keep your ears peeled, and also maybe consider yeah. delegating. I know, in yeah. my area, there are a lot of personal assistants or, you know, concierge uh, businesses where, you know, they will take this on for you. If you just give them the particulars, they might, you know, inject some ideas as well to help you out. And, you know, and then that That's takes you off idea. your plate. Yeah. That, yeah. I love Tori, by the way. Tori's fantastic. Oh, That's yeah. another good source for gift ideas. And, yeah. and then there's gift lists, right? There's these gift yes. lists everywhere. All the things so, we clamor to get our clients so on. <laughs> yes, this is so true. Use them. Yeah, yeah. This is so true. Yeah, um, even, and there's all kind of fun things. Like um, if you have, you know, clients that you know they love wine, you can get them a subscription to, I think it's yes. Wink. That's the wine subscription thing where they can try like a bunch of different wines. So, and it's not that expensive expensive um so that's another option to do something you know subscription based maybe oh, yes. you you know there's all kinds of food subscriptions too that you could do if you know your client has mentioned a particular thing and and again if you're dealing with you know a single person at a client and not like a big organization then you can tailor your gift a little more personally um Things that they can use in the office, that's always a good idea. Um, like Echo Dots or, you know, personal assistant speakers. Oh, you know, yes. those are always practical because you can gadgets. always use those. Yeah. And, yeah, gadgets are always a good guess. Right, right. Anything tech that doesn't break the bank. And so that's, yeah. you know, the, the yeah, there's a certain online retailer that has a lot of sales yeah. this time of year. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. They That's know who so they true. are. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, there's, try and get creative. Think of things that would bring you know your client a little bit of joy, but you know don't get stuck on it. You don't have to. You know, it certainly doesn't have to be the perfect gift because goodness knows, I'm sure there are people in your life, in your family that you're working that hard to to have a gift for them. So yeah, um, I mean, and honestly, that's the part for me personally, that can make the holidays a stressor is oh, overthinking sure. and trying to yeah. figure out what to give people that just is like, okay, I, I hate it all. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it all. <laughs> I don't want everyone to do this again. I know. You know I I'm, know. It just, that makes me crazy. I'd rather just, um, <laughs> I'd rather the client part tends to be the easiest thing to do. Yes, it's true. Um, it, it's stressful in that moment when you're looking like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But <laughs> you know, we're PR people. You know, think of a theme and lean into that theme and go with it. You know, <laughs> make it a campaign. <laughs> make it a campaign. There you go. The and work the plan. Gift campaign. That's right. Yeah. Do what we know how to do best. Yeah, no, you're right. That's what you're we right. know how to do. So when you think yeah. of it as a campaign, you're absolutely right, Michelle. Then the <laughs> ideas flow and then you're like, okay, we're doing this. Here's our theme. We got this. What do we need? <laughs> it's good. And you know, what? and here's another thing to think of too, as you deliver the gifts, if you, you know, it depends how your business life is, if you take them around personally, or if you have them shipped, uh, be cognizant of when your client's offices are open and closed you know, the, the devil's in the details. So yeah. uh, just making sure that they're around, you know, kind of make sure you know or try and find out when they're having their holiday luncheon or whatever. So your timing yeah. is is right. And I found, too, I try to err on the side of getting things to them in the first couple of weeks of December because you think, oh, yeah. we got till the holiday. Well, you know, people are taking their time off and whatnot, and so it doesn't have the full 
um, attention, well, I don't say attention, but you know, it's like, especially if it's like yeah. a food gift or something, you want people to be there to enjoy it. Um, yeah. I, yeah. And you know, know. I, one year, Sorry. this wasn't for the holidays, but I did it um, as a thank you to a client. And, you know, let's not forget that you can do things for clients throughout the year. I sent uh, breakfast to the client. So I did like a Panera in their area, area and got like breakfast sandwiches and croissants yeah. and baked goods. And, you know, they do the carafe of coffee and had it sent over to their office so that they could have, you know, a little breakfast yeah. cheer. So that, yeah. you know, that's another option is that you could send lunch to a client, you know, right. and thank them for the holidays. And that's a way for them to gather. Yeah. Um, Instead of just sending like a basket of goodies, you know, you can make right. it like a single, you know, right. meal. Yeah, depending on your budget and and the yeah. weather, you could even send a food truck. Just, you know, yeah. X out of date and say, all right, I'm going to send this food truck to your place. Yeah. You know, to treat everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's a beautiful thing. And yeah. something that you can definitely plan for. And I mean, especially for, you know, key clients, that, that's a beautiful idea. Yeah. I love but that. We know, we know you're all creative out there. So we know you've got this, but it's easy to get hung up on it as I, I'll speak for myself as I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we hope this has been helpful to you to kind of get those creative juices flowing and thinking about the best way to express your gratitude to your clients or those key colleagues that, you know, make the rest of your business year sparkle and uh, allow you to make the living Absolutely. that you do, which is just. And if you guys come up with everything. creative gift ideas, we'd love to yes. hear about them. So we'd love some a, a note and let us know. Yes, please do. Please do. So in the meantime, please share our podcast if you're enjoying what you're hearing. Uh, subscribe, sh just spread the love all around. We um, we are so grateful for those of you who are listening, and we thank you for, you know, including us in your week. Thank you. Have a great holiday season. <laughs>